I'm going to show you how to reach out to people in cold DMs and not be a weirdo, actually gain interest and trust and desire from them to buy your product. These processes have led myself and my team members the ability to make millions of dollars in commissions from social media. Stay tuned. First of all, stop running people away from you. Most people slide in someone's DMs and they immediately pitch them. They're like, hey, good morning, buy my shit. And now look, we all have heard the saying, you know, it's a numbers game. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. And that's true, but what if you could make the numbers work to your benefit? What if you didn't have to shake a million hands to get a sale? What if you only had to shake a dozen hands to get a sale? So many people show up in DMs the wrong way. They immediately go to pitching. What I like to do and what's worked for my team of salesmen that have made millions of dollars in commissions working for me is what I call social recon. So here's how you do social reconnaissance. You go to somebody's profile, you look and see what they're into. Step two is you start a conversation in the DMs about something they're interested in, something they've recently done. The people that, that post on social media are trying to get attention. That's the whole reason they would share this. They're saying, look at me, pay attention to me. We're in the attention economy. And so when you can oblige somebody by actually paying attention to the things that they want you to pay attention to, they immediately are attracted to you as opposed to just hitting them with the sales pitch that repels them from you. So number three is you carry on the conversation. They're gonna give you feedback about the concert, the event they went to, whatever hobbies that you might have found common ground with. That simple process will make things go smoother. It will make you not look like you have coffee stale commission breath, smell like cigarettes because you've been smoking out back at the car dealership. And it'll build rapport with people and rapport is the first step to sales period. Like if you don't build rapport with somebody, you're just spamming folks. So remember that. To not be a weirdo. Weirdos make statements. So they just tell you things, right? When you meet somebody, they just start telling you stuff and you're like, I didn't even, I wasn't asking for that. I wasn't interested in that. I didn't care about that. Instead of doing that, ask questions, right? How do we get to know somebody? We don't get to know somebody by making statements. They get to know us by that. But people want to know that you're interested in them before they're interested in you. So you want to elicit responses from people. So ask questions so that you get a response. Here's a couple things that's going to happen. If you send a statement, then they have no reason to respond. If you ask a question, it's almost impossible by human nature not to respond to a question. And once the two of you start talking in the DM, the algorithm is going to start showing them your stuff. So you're going to start building what I call points of familiarity. They've seen you in the DM, then they see you in the newsfeed. They see you maybe on the comments of the post that you did the social recon with. So weirdos leave statements and they're just like, hi, here's who I am and what I do. I didn't even care to ask you about that in the first place. Smart people, finessing salespeople, ask questions so that we get responses so that we can have a dialogue and conversation. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get trapped in a casual conversation. Don't forget that you're there to make sales, not friends, because friends typically don't buy from friends. That's, that's a sad fact of life, that's just how it happens. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a friend. You also have to be careful how you transition. You can't be like, hey, so how was that trip to the con? Concert, and they're like, oh, it was great. And you're like, yeah, it was great for me too. By the way, I sell insurance. That's not gonna work, right? You have to be very delicate how you transition. So what I like to do is it's a numbers game. I like to have three or four responses go back and forth. Hey, so how was the concert? Oh, it was great. That's awesome. I'm a big Tool fan too. What's your favorite song by them? Oh, you know, I really love Prison Sex. Been there, done that. Just kidding. And then you might be like, really, Maynard is very special on how he puts together those things. He's truthfully a sales guy, which by the way, what do you do for a living to be able to afford Tool concert tickets in the first place? Because I know they weren't cheap. And now all of a sudden you're switching it over to where they're telling you about about what it is that they do for a living, which by you know any conversation, it gives them, they're probably gonna ask you what you do for a living, or at least you're gonna say, hey, well, I relate to that because here's what I do for a living. And now you start pushing it towards a sales conversation and away from just a friendly exchange about a concert. And then you carry on to the sales process from there. I wanna remind you that you invested your time into this watching this video. And investment plus action equals a return on investment. So if you wanna get a return on investment for your time, take action on what you've learned here. If you wanna watch other videos, there's all sorts of content that I've got on this channel that allow you to make more money. I read all the comments and try to reply to as many as possible. So leave me a comment and let's connect on the next video.